Project Almanac is directed by Dean Israelite and stars nobody. You know absolutely nobody in this movie. They're all newcomers. Tells a story about these group of teenage kids. One thing leads to another and they find a time machine. So now it's about them and the hijinks with this said time machine. This movie was originally supposed to be released last year, February of 2014, under the name Welcome to Yesterday. I was actually quite excited for the movie back in February. I'm kind of bummed when they bumped it. And now it is finally released 11 months later. And so what did I think in the movie? That was good. I mean, for the most part, everyone gives a decent performance. The main guy is pretty good. And the main guy's two friends, although their characters are pretty useless, they give a decent performance as well. Two absurdly hot chicks in this movie are also pretty good. I wouldn't say there's really a bad performance in this movie. The special effects were also really good in this movie, very realistic. I found myself thoroughly entertained throughout this whole movie. I also really enjoyed the build up to when they first go time traveling. You know, it takes a long time to get to the first time travel, but I thought they built the momentum really well. And seeing them going back in time, doing the things they're doing, it's pretty cool. I'd probably do the same thing. First time they go back time traveling, it's when this kid wants to ace this test that he failed. And they did this Groundhog Day thing where he had to do it over and over again. Hilarious. I love seeing people doing the same situation over and over again until they completely adapt to the situation. That's always some good comedy right there. Prime example, Edge of Tomorrow. And when they first show how the ripple effect is affecting everything around them and how they explain it, I thought the writing was really good for that. When they're explaining the ripple effect, I'm like, okay, that's pretty clever, that's pretty smart, I like that. I laughed a lot of times in this movie. They make a lot of movie references. That makes me very happy. And I mean a lot of movie references. And maybe a couple time travel movies they reference, I don't know. And if you're a fan of Imagine Dragons, you will not be disappointed. And my last positive, I found the ending to be pretty satisfying. Thought they tied things up pretty nicely. Okay, on to the negatives. I swear to God, you need to pop an Advil before you watch the first 10 minutes of this movie. The shaky cam is nauseating in the first 10 minutes. It gets better over time, but the first 10 minutes are absurdly nauseating. When they finally like put the camera down, go to like a still shot, I'm like... <sighs> Sweet release. The characters are pretty bland. I didn't find myself emotionally invested in anyone. The romance they have in this movie feels really forced. And this is a time travel movie. If you expect Project Almanac to have no plot holes and tie everything up perfectly, you're gonna be disappointed. It's a time travel movie. Of course it's gonna get convoluted. It's time travel. There are a couple plot holes, but I think for the most part, you can pretty much understand what's going on. It doesn't get too out there, too confusing, too convoluted. And the dialogue at times can get a little clunky, but that's all my gripes for the movie. If you're looking to burn about two hours of your time, go see Project Almanac. Some pretty entertaining stuff. I'll give it 3.25 out of 5 reels. What do you guys think of Project Dominic? Make sure to comment below, hit that subscribe button, hit me up on Twitter at my website, brendanhasablog.wordpress.com. Until next time, I'm Brian Weissman. Peace!